Okay, so um, today I'm just going to talk about um, CSIRO's um, Trusted Data Repository project. Um, so I'll go you through the aims of the project, um, some background about the data access portal, uh, the requirements for self-assessment as a TDR, gathering the evidence, applying for certification and also another aspect of our project was um, looking into hosting externally owned data. Um, the aims of um, the Trusted Data Repository project was to investigate certifying the data access portal as a trusted data repository. Um, to develop a plan to implement changes to policies and procedures to support CSIRO business requirements and certification. To develop a plan to implement systems changes that may be required to the DAP infrastructure. To engage with external entities to host externally owned data as a test case and to prepare an application for certification. Um, this is um, our data access portal. Um, so just a bit of background information of the repository um, and this will provide some of the context that relates to the first section of the application. So the data access portal is currently an institutional repository and um, when we submitted our application that's what we submitted our application as. Deposit is by self-service and is accessible to CSIRO staff using their institutional username and login. Um, we have approximately 2,100 publicly available collections and storage um, of the data is over one petabyte. The subject matter includes a broad range of sciences with 17 of the 22 fields of research codes represented. The software and storage infrastructure of the DAP, which is um, what we term our data access portal, are developed and managed by CSIRO Information Management and Technology. We have a data deposit checklist, which ensures depositors consider key quality and legal issues prior to, to, sorry, prior to deposit. A science leader then approves the collection after assessing it for quality and legal issues. The, offer, the repository, um, we offer a few different curation levels based on depositor needs. So the content can be distributed as deposited. Um, we may offer some basic curation, brief checking or addition of basic metadata or enhanced curation such as conversion to new formats. The designated community or data users of the data access portal are researchers, industry, policy makers, general public and students. The data users can download the majority of collections without a user login and a smaller number of collections will require registration to access the files. So the requirements for self-assessment as a TDR. So when we um, went through um, the process to help with understanding the 16 requirements of the self-assessment, we read other organisations' applications and considered the evidence they had used. Um, applications with the core trust seal are now open with certified repository applications available on their website. Um, applications that were useful to us in reading were Dan um, as a part of the Secretariat of the course Trust Seal and have been involved in developing the requirements and also the UK Data Archive. They had a well organised application with de detailed evidence. To help with the next step of gathering and determining what evidence to use for CSIRO, an analysis was undertaken of the types of evidence used in a few of the published applications. We've included a list of references we use to inform our understanding of the requirements in the appendix of our report to ANS. This will be published on their website. There also is a useful extended guidance document and webinar available on the Core Trust Seal website that discusses the requirements and reviewers' expectations. 
um, gathering the evidence. Um, the certifying body have a preference for evidence that is public and we found this a major challenge. In this table are some examples of the evidence we used for the first part of the requirements which were organisational related um, from requirement one to six. It gives an idea of new evidence we developed such as uh, the mission statement, also the difficulty with providing publicly available evidence. It also provides information about the departments we consulted for expert guidance with our, within our organisation, such as legal, business development and staff from within our own information and technology, um, information management and t technology department. We have attempted to overcome the challenge with providing public evidence with the development of collection development principles, preservation principles and an update of the data management live guide. These provide a summary of the processes for requirements for um, from 7 to 16 which covered digital object management and technology. These public documents are available from the CIRO DAP help page. So the next, um, what stage are we up to with applying for certification? Um, so the data seal of approval ceased applications in October 2017 and we missed this deadline. Um, however, our application was submitted with the core trust seal in uh, February 2018 as part of their soft launch to test their system. Um, processing of our application will begin when the core trust seal legal entity is finalised. So we're currently waiting to pay the administration fee of a thousand euro. And then our um, application will be processed. Uh, we found getting an account for the application management tool gave access to a staff member who promptly answered our questions. And a word of warning, once an application is submitted, it is locked. However, we found the helpful staff member could amend a small error we had made. Um, one aspect of our project looked at investigating um, policies, procedures and system changes to host externally owned data. So why was this part of our strategy? Um, as a as a, an organisation, we understand the value of new research possibilities in drawing together research data produced by organisations beyond CSIRO and across the research community. Also, researchers from our land and water business unit are interested in investigating a trusted repository for water research data. This vision is to bring together nationally significant data from a wide range of organisations for the benefit of industry policy and research. So what did we implement as part of this part of the project? Um, we defined the scope for accepting data in the collection development principles. For example, data should be aligned with CSIRO's function as set out in section nine of the science and Research Industry Act 1949. Terms and conditions were developed into an agreement to be signed by the depositing organisation called the Data Deposit Conditions. Some example of the terms and conditions include that data is free from embargo, it has not previously been published with a DOI, data is owned by the depositing organisation, data complies with ethics, privacy, confidentiality, contractual licensing and copyright obligations and data will have a CC BY licence applied. Um, a data deposit form was developed from, for the data depositor to provide metadata. We developed some procedures for depositing externally owned data. The DAP is a self-service repository with access to deposit by CSIRO staff only. So the research data service will liaise with external data owners to facilitate the deposit of data. Then a science um, CSIRO science leader with domain knowledge of the data will be the approver of the collection. This is part of the risk management framework that all public data collections in the DAP are subject to. 
It involves a check of the data quality and legal issues prior to publishing. So some future enhancements um, to the DAP include the ability to customise a collection landing page such, such as the addition of logos for external organisations, um, automation of the data deposit conditions within the existing DAP software and to develop a self-serve deposit interface for external organisations. We found that this um, project had some immediate benefits for us, um, such as when applying for a recommended repository status with journal publishers and funders, um, we found that we had information ready to use to meet those requirements. And we've also had inquiries from researchers regarding publishing externally owned data, and we have now have a response with policies and procedures in place. So thank you. Um, and there was a lot of people involved in this um, project within CSIRO, um, too many to list, um, but a thank you to all of them as well.